Okay, let's take a look and see where we're at here today. We're at uh, Canaveral, uh, Port Canaveral Jetty Park Campground down at uh, Port Canaveral, Florida. And Cape Canaveral is right across the, the waterway there. There's a submarine base. And this is where I'm at. That's my truck and trailer. And there's the jetties and the fishing pier. And the uh, regular campground is back over in there. I'm in the uh, non-electric site and uh, I have water. It's a little bit warmer than I'd like it to be, but uh, anyway, we're here and we're gonna stay one more night at least. That's my 2023 Ford F-250 diesel. And here what we're looking at today is the uh, aerodynamic modifications that I've done. And uh, you can see my uh, spoiler up on top of my headache rack. That's my uh, Honda 3000 generator in that box there. And uh, there's the uh, there's the uh, spoiler and the uh, attachments that I've made for it. And on the front of the trailer, I put these little air dams here on uh, these. Uh, I got one on each side. And uh, when I was in Newfoundland, I put them on. I made them down in Florida when, before I left, and I just didn't put them on. And I got halfway through my trip. I was in northern Newfoundland, and I did put them on. And uh, my fuel mileage up to that point was approximately 13 and a half. And after I put them on, it went to 14. And uh, so I don't know, I guess it helped. I'm not gonna take them off. I'm pretty sure that that made a half mile an hour, half mile a gallon difference, but I can't prove it. And the, uh, I put the air dam on. I was getting 15 coming down here today from, or yesterday from Daytona. So I think that's helped some too. Like I say, I'm not taking it off. It, uh, I'm pretty sure it helped quite a bit. I was getting as much as 16 and a half yesterday. Anyway, this is my cargo trailer conversion. And uh, my mini split air conditioner, which does a really good job. Air handlers hanging on the wall over my bed. And, uh, anyway, you know, if you can get a couple percent better fuel mileage, it, uh, it's going to help. You know, a trip to Newfoundland was 7,000 miles, so, you know, just a couple percentage makes a big difference as far as your cost of, uh, a trip. So there you have it. My uh, cargo trailer conversion, which I started on in uh, 1998, so it's been 25 years I've been working on it, and it does a really good job for me. Thanks for watching.